something I love. You know, when you buy a, a painting and you put it on the wall. He, his death was a sacrifice for all the world, for freedom, for democracy, for human rights. So he is in our hearts also. And I think all the people in the world who live in freedom should say thank you to Ninoy. And then uh, I called up a friend of ours in the State Department, and I said that... Uh, the last thing he said was, um, but if Marcos makes a mistake and has me killed, then that will be the best thing that will happen to me, because I've always wanted to die for our country. And so his last letter to me uh, really was a very moving thing that uh, he said that he was about to leave, uh, he was going to the airport, and then he said that he just wanted to let me know how much he loved me and how much he wanted to thank me for all the support that I had given him. But if I don't get, you know, if I don't get to call you, then just remember me in your dreams. No, he, he said that he had slept well for the first time since he left Boston. He was saying, maybe I'm just so tired or I finally, I'm finally at peace. Assassination is part of public service. My feeling is we all have to die sometime. Now, if it's my fate to die by an assassin's bullet, so be it. But I cannot be petrified by inaction or fear of assassination and therefore stay in a corner. I, I have to suffer with my people. I have to, to lead them uh, because of the responsibility given to lead the right people. Uh -huh.